Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the Dar Education Project video tutorial series for the Java uh, window in uh, Eclipse. And today we are going to discuss the session number eight. In this session, we are going to learn how to install the SQLite uh, database uh, in the Mozilla Firefox. So just go and install the Mozilla Firefox. And uh, here, just click on this menu and go for the add-ons click on add-ons then you will see uh, the extensions here just click on extensions still since i was uh, uh, installing this mozilla firefox uh, and uh, i'm not uh, including any extension here so just uh, find out sqlite here it will load uh, the sqlite uh, extensions or other things uh, in your page you will select sqlite manager here and just click on the install button it will downloading started and after the downloading uh, it will be shown that sqlite manager will be installed uh, after you restart firefox so we are going to restart it now remember that sqlite is a built-in feature of the mozilla firefox and it was not included in the other browsers here so you need to install the sqlite uh, uh, in sqlite you can install it by using the mozilla firefox so not now uh, so my add-ons this was uh, uh, installed in your uh, mozilla firefox now uh, how we will approach this sqlite you should go to the customize and just click on it and uh, you can see that the sqlite manager is here just uh, drag and uh, paste it here and exit customized now uh, when you uh, once again open this uh, menu then you can see that sqlite manager is here just click on it then you can see that sqlite manager is just like open in this form a new database uh, so you need to create a school management system something school database and i am using it school database and ok then you can see that it will be created and ask the position where you want to store your uh, database so i am going for the java programs and here is the I thought so. Mm. We're going to make this application for the stu Java School Management System and uh, student information. I think you are. It was in the folder of mm, simple Java swing. We can make more than one packages. Mm. student information that. in which folder it was I thought it was a company project so ok it was in the company project so I will store it in company project it was in company project and uh, I am creating a database folder and here the database folder and now I am going to <coughs> select this database folder and save this here okay. database and select this folder uh, ok check the path once again database and select it ok now our database is created successfully and uh, now we are going to uh, ins insert a table here so just go on this icon and click create table and you can see that uh, just like that id data type it was integer you want to make it primary key yes uh, auto increment we can say that it will be yes uh, s name it will be variable characters mm, it is variable character 
S address voucher S student S means students phone and I'm taking it integer real so I'm also taking it integer as uh, email watcher okay and we will give the name of this table it will be student table okay. when you click it it will are you sure you want to perform the following operation it will create the table it is the sqlite command just click yes and you can see that a student table was created successfully here now if you want to uh, see that uh, the structure of this table then you just click on it and you can see that um, uh, for, uh, their buttons are showing drop empty rename re-index copy and export and here is the columns which we already created and it shows the primary keys here and similarly if we want to insert the data here then we can go for add just i am going to add a name a sap uh, address um, house number 34 phone and this is the email Okay. This will insert the data here. As you can see that, if you want to edit it, just go for edit. One row, no record selected. Just click on it and then edit it. It will edit the data here. I think it was duplicated, so I'm just removing it and write it again. Okay. You can see that in this way you can add, delete or update the data here. So now we are uh, creating this tables and know how to add the record and now we are going to uh, discuss how to create the connection uh, with this database from our Java application in the next video tutorials. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe our channel for further details. Allah Hafiz.